Cooling is the number one violation in restaurants discovered by FDA inspectors over the last few years. 79% of full service restaurants were not cooling TCS foods down properly. Bacteria survive cooking and when we're cooling foods down, they're coming down through the temperature danger zone, which is in between 41 and 135 degrees Fahrenheit, where bacteria will easily grow. Just leaving hot foods out to cool at room temperature or even in the refrigerator is not going to cool them down fast enough. Plus, bacteria can grow to high levels. Some, including Clostridium perfringens, will also make toxins as they sit in the danger zone. Cooking later would not destroy these toxins. Another problem is hot foods in the refrigerator could raise the temperature of the refrigerator itself, putting the other foods inside at risk. According to the FDA food code, Foods should be cooled quickly in two stages, from 135 degrees to 70 degrees Fahrenheit within two hours, then continue to cool those foods from 70 to 41 degrees in the next four hours for a total of six hours. There are ways to speed up that cooling time, using an ice bath around a hot food or reducing the portion size, cutting a roast into smaller pieces or emptying soups into smaller containers. We can spread foods into shallow containers no more than three inches high, and this works well for hot cooked rice or vegetables. And an ice wand or a chill stick is great for cooling soups or stews from the inside out.